Distinguished ladies and gentlemen, we're here to celebrate and not mourn a prophet who did great and mighty deeds for God Almighty. Father, we know you are in our midst by the spirit you have given us. Thank you for the life of Prophet T.B. Joshua. Thank you for the life saved. The words he said, watch and pray. And generation yet unborn shall live to see the fruit of the work he has done in Jesus' name. John 11, 25 to 26. And it says, Jesus said unto her, I am the resurrection and the life. The one who believes in me will live even though they die. And whosoever lives by believing in me we will never die. Do you believe this? We love you, TB Joshua. Thank you. Prophet TB Joshua was indeed a man of prayer, a humble servant of God, a mentor to presidents, a friend to widows, a benefactor to the needy, a cross-generational role model, and a hard-working man who toiled tirelessly for the advancements of God's kingdom to the very end. Prophet T.B. Joshua gave countless prophecies that he lived to see come to pass. Countless lives have been touched, families reconciled, and hope restored as the secrets of men's hearts were brought to light. This is, ladies and gentlemen, it now gives us great pleasure to invite a Nigerian singer songwriter and music producer Timmy Dakolo please put your hands together for him so I can stand on mountains you raise me up to walk on stormy seas yes I am strong when I am on your shore in the synagogue. Our life was not without trials and tests. I thank you for being you, TBJ, my Lord. You are unique in every sense. That's the man who does not understand the word impossible. We will keep the fire burning. We will keep your dreams alive by God's grace. It is very sad. Very, very sad that I, Evelyn, may not be able to see you physically again. The children may not be able to see you physically. Your spiritual sons and daughters the big synagogue family and your loved ones in the world. But it's also comforting that you have gone home after service. So sleep on, my love. Sleep on, my God's general. God bless you. Dear Daddy, it's hard to put in words how remarkable a person you are. I would not be what I am today if not for your encouragement, your support, and your formidable dedication. You emptied yourself for your family and served humanity. I want to say 
thank you for being such an exceptional role model. Your life is a living testimony of how God can raise a young boy from an underprivileged background with so much passion and zeal for God's work and use him in extraordinary ways. I'm so proud to be your daughter, Daddy. So we meet again in heaven, Dad. From Pom Pom, as he usually calls me, your twin. He was a jovial man, full of fun and laughter. He played uncountable jokes with me and my sisters, and sadly is leaving a hole in our hearts, which no one can fill. I cherish every moment I had with my father, and I know he's smiling down at us right now. I am saddened that death took him away from us, but God said, in all things, we should give him thanks. I've never met a man who could be so many things at the same time, and yet be a master of all his trades. A lion, yet a lamb. A master, yet a servant. A great teacher, yet a great student. You may have 10,000 teachers in Christ, but you don't have many fathers. You taught us prayer. You taught us love. You taught us life. And every moment was an assignment from God to you. You taught us the secrets of God, that this journey needs joy. You fought for God's kingdom to the very end. And we will fight that good fight to the very end.